Okay, hello everyone. Um, so I just created a better tutorial and I'm just going to go through it. This is for the BMC Blender Motion Capture. As you can see here, I will provide the link on the App Store. So all you need to do is to install this app. And it's not that big, as you can see here. And once that is done, you have to uh, accept that. And you notice I'm doing it in my bathroom. The reason being is it has really good uh, lighting and it's quiet. So wh whatever works for you, but you need to have accurate lighting and you need uh, a really quiet place in order for it to work. So, so here I hit record and then it records it. And then when I hit stop, then I can send the, an email to myself of the data. As we can see here, I have the email right here. So I'm gonna go step by step on how you can get this to work. So, Let's do Blender, Android 18. This is what we're going to be using. Um, I am planning on making an uh, sorry, emoji app based off of Dragon Ball, which, you know, you'll record your face and stuff. Um, as you can see here, there's no shape keys. There's no, nothing. You need the add-on. And you can get the add-on if you go here. This is my website, Pascal Jardine. You can, um, there's links for it. Here's the GitHub. And then here is the, the app. So, so let's do this. Download zip. It's downloading. Now we have it. And then we have this right here. This. That is exactly what we need, so we can minus that. Now we have Blender. I'm just going through this entire thing just in case that someone is completely new because they did change a lot on us. So now I'm installing the add-on. So we go to Downloads, iPhone, and Install. And then as you can see here, it shows up here, so we click on it. So now that's nice and happy. And as you can see here, now we get this. So it has this get cat folder. You might be wondering what that is. Unfortunately, uh, we have to make that. So let's just go ahead. Let's do cap. All right. So we, here's the capture. And then we it needs all this data. So we can just drag and drop. And you don't have to use all the data. But it does help to just go ahead and just put it in. OK, so here's the audio. There we go. So now it's happy. So now it's all in there. And okay, so get cat folder. We select the folder we want. So we go to downloads, and this is because cap, get cat folder. So now it has the correct folder location. And as you can see here, we need to generate the blend shapes, which aka the shape keys. Oh, I forgot to here. I'm just going to pull that up real quick. So blend shapes iOS. So when you're creating the, oops, no. Here we go. So as you're creating this, this is really helpful to look at what each one does. As you can see here, so this is zero shape key and then this is when it's all the way to one. And that's for the left. 
And it would be a pain to try to do that by hand. So what I did was you can check generate. So if there's one missing, I'll just go ahead and do it. So we have it selected. We have the folder. We'll just go ahead and generate it. Oh, ah, I forgot. So it needs, and I probably should make a note to do this for the next update. It needs uh, a basic shape key. So we go here. We have the basis. Now we can check and generate. And look at that. That's the correct naming for everything. And the cool thing is, let's say if you're making your own app and you wanted to, you know, have this in your uh, Swift app, it needs the the naming is already correct. So uh, I'm currently trying to do that on my own, and then I'll make a tutorial on that later. So as you can see here, it's already done, and so that's Android 18. Um, so I don't think I'm going to go through like doing it on here for you guys can see because I've already done it with Android 17. So I'm just going to save that. Exit. I am trying to make a, uh, there we go. So as you can see here, this is one that I've already done before. This is Android 18, sorry, Android 17. And as you can see here, I've already done every single one. I think there's 32 of these. I, I could be wrong. It does take a while. So that's why I'm not going to make a video of doing each one. You can just use the, the reference link that I'm going to provide. So here's this. What we're going to do is we're going to delete this. We have this. Let's go to animation. Just going to delete the keyframes. Here we go. And we're going to import what we just did. Okay. So get cat folder. So we go to downloads because that's where we have it. iPhone cap, cap, get cat folder. Okay. So if we do this, nothing happens because it's already done. Now we're going to apply it. So that's why the naming is so important. So if I go to the shape keys, I always, ah, oh, there we go. So that's why the uh, naming is so important because when you hit apply, it goes directly to these shape keys, the naming. So apply. It does take a while, but I mean, oh, there we go. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. As you can see, it's really nice and stable. That's partly because uh, of the stand. So you really want to make sure that you have a proper stand for your iPhone for recording. I actually had to 3D print mine. So now we have the head and we can apply the rotation for the actual head itself if we want to. So let's just go ahead and do that. So hit head. As you can see here, it just applied the rotation of the head. So something I want to uh, add is, so we have the left eye, right eye, and we can actually apply that to an object. So let's say if our eye was a separate object, it will copy the rotation of the left and right eye. However, what's interesting with the shape keys is it already has, you know, look up, look out, look in directions. So since this is a 2D, here, if I can go in, as you can see here, it's just changing the blend shape. So it's really nice. So you don't necessarily even need the head, left eye, right eye. So we have all this done. Up next is the audio, so video editing. So now we do sound, audio, uh, uh, oops, ah, wrong one. Okay, so here is, okay, downloads, iPhone capture, yep. Add sound strip, okay. 
and leave it no it's playback so what i'm doing right here is making sure it's in sync so by default it's no sync so make sure this is clicked or else it won't match up at all and then here ready hello my name is pascal and this is a test i can blink So sometimes you need to offset a little bit. The reason being is, you know, for animation stuff, you usually see it, the movements, and then you hear the audio because, you know, light travels faster than sound. So as you can see here, I just did the offset. Hello, my... And unfortunately, that was too much. It's actually more like just, just a few frames. Let's just see. Hello, my name is Pascal, and this is a test. I can blink. Yeah, cool. As you can see, it's really smooth. You need proper lighting. Um, and also you need a really stable location and somewhere really quiet for this to work. Good luck. So even does the eyebrows, I mean, it's amazing. Because I try to do the motion capture, you know, open CV and try and train it myself. And the iPhone just does it. And you know they're going to keep making it better and better. So it's a really interesting philosophy that we just buy an iPhone, right? Have this little add-on, and then we can just import it into Blender. So it's so it's going to keep getting, keep getting updated. So yeah. So that's how it works. Um, yeah, I'll leave comments, reviews, uh, this is a, this is all free. And I, I'm really hopeful that someone can use it and benefit from it.